The year is 2092. There are now 7 billion people living on planet Earth. We all rely on the fossil fuel power plants to keep our world turning. It's a different world now. Food is expensive, and so are the fossil fuels we rely on. Breaking news. An Australian girl has won 50 metres butterfly in the Norwegian and Summer Olympic Games in record time. Which leads to our next story. Unfortunately, now 90% of Greenland's ice has melted, rising sea levels by 7 metres. The countries of Tuvalu and the Maldives are now completely submerged. Scientists have calculated that this could have been stopped 80 years ago by the use of green energy alternatives. Unfortunately, it is now too late. I wish I had have been around 80 years ago to be the one, the one to make a difference. It's 2012. That's when the scientists calculated that someone could change the future and make a difference. In 2012, 90% of the world's energy comes from fossil fuels. What are the other sources of green energy? Wind turbines, wave motion, but probably the best and most common at this stage is solar power. The sun provides enough energy to our planet in one day to power it for an entire year. We just need the solar panels to be able to collect it. But in 2012, solar cells are still at best around 15% efficient. There are many other factors which further reduce this. For the highest solar panel efficiency, you should keep your panel directly facing the sun. This significantly increases power output. When the panel becomes dirty, the efficiency decreases, sometimes by up to 50%. So you must keep your solar panels clean. Surprisingly, water on the solar panels provides a small increase in efficiency. Thus, washing the panel, or rain, will not only keep the dust off the panels, but also keep it cool. As solar panels become hotter, they become less efficient. When they are 70 degrees Celsius, they only have half the efficiency of when they are at 20 degrees. Finally, the best way to increase solar panel efficiency is by using a device like the Reflecticon 3000, which I have developed to focus extra solar light and energy onto the solar panel. With much work and design, the Reflecticon 3000 device was able to increase solar panel output to nearly twice as much as normal operation. This could be the future if we don't do something today to save our planet. I want you to be the one to make a difference.